Good morning, P.O. It's time for a P.O. Positive or Pet P. Okay, folks. Let's see what it is today. The floor is yours, Angie. Good morning, Jack. I've got a... A pet peeve. Returned videos that have not been rewinded. I mean, really? Be kind and rewind. Thanks. Duly noted, Angie. And now, on to today's weather. We can enjoy the sun in the morning, but the clouds will cover it more and more. Enough talking. Here are some tunes. Hello again. More mail for me? And the tape you gave me. Oh, wow. You watched it already? A drifter in a sleepy town, an affair, and a plot to kill a husband? There's a lot more to this movie than I expected. It's a classic, and probably my favorite noir. They did a remake a couple years back, but it's, well, it's not as good. You can't beat Lana Turner's smoldering intensity. Yeah, she's great in it. I'm so glad you liked it. Most of the people here don't really appreciate the art of classic cinema. They just want to see Police Academy again. <laughs> I'm afraid you're right. Pretty lonely being the only movie buff around. Well, keep feeding my VCR and I'll be up to speed in no time. Will do. Let me think about it, and I'll get back to you. You know, it's good to see you. That's nice to hear. Because I have a sneaky little plan. Oh, we're whispering now? I want you to meet me, say, at five today. Sorry, I have other plans. Cancel them. I want to share a great idea I've had, and those are rare. Sorry, Angie, but I really can't. Boring. Uh, some other time, then. Maybe. Later.
These look like bills. There's a face I remember. Good morning, Mr. Harris. Hey there. More paperwork with my name on it? Well, take a look for yourself. Thanks. Oh, it gets worse every day. Sorry to hear that. Can you believe it? I've been taking care of this lakeside for years. Now they're going to bulldoze it and build apartments. Oh, that's a shame. I'd hate to see the place I grew up ruined by an apartment building. What? You grew up here? Yes, but that was a long time ago. Time flies, huh? I guess. But tell me about that paperwork. They say you could file an official objection, but... I'm not a great match with bureaucracy. I'd rather get the chainsaw and cut down Town Hall. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy now. <laughs> Just kidding. It's a nice thought, though. Well... Good luck with that. Thanks. I'll see if I can come up with something. This is close to where I had my first kiss.
Nope, no answer. Maureen? Hi, hon. How are you doing this fine day? I'm fine, but how are you? You know, with the kitchen exploding? Oh, that? <laughs> Nothing a fresh lick of paint and a mop couldn't fix. Doesn't mean to scare you. <laughs> Let's pick up where we left off, shall we? And one piece of blueberry pie? Ashley, one blueberry pie. Meredith Wise, back in Providence Oaks. <gasps> How's life treating you, darling? It's all right, actually. I delivered a package to Kay at her house earlier. Yes, she told me. How did that go for you? It was a bit weird seeing her again. I can imagine it can be a lot to take in for the both of you, especially after being away for so long. Then again, there are some things that never change, right? <laughs> you being one of them. <laughs> I will take that as a compliment, but I bet the diner looks a bit strange to you, doesn't it? It looks so different from how I remember it. Yeah, I decided it was time for a change. Didn't feel the same after my stand died. World keeps turning. Gotta keep moving along with it, right? Oh my gosh, Maureen. Stan died? I'm so sorry. I, I had no idea. Thank you, darling. But it's really okay. It's been ten years already. Ten and a half, almost. Oh, boy, did I love that man. Oh, we've been married for so long. It hit me like a brick. But after a while, I decided that sadness wasn't the only emotion I was allowed to have. That's not what Stan would have wanted either. That's really inspiring. Thank you, hon. I do appreciate that. Anyway, you have to get back up. So I did, for me, but also for Kay. She took her uncle's death pretty hard. I can imagine that. <sighs> Sorry for dumping all that on you like that, darling. Gosh, <laughs> look at your face. I'm a bit surprised you didn't know. Didn't your parents tell you about it? Or Kay? I can't recall. Uh, it's okay, hon. I honestly don't give a hoot about any blame game. We all have our lives to live, but Kay's been through a lot. Uh, nursed her uncle through his illness, helping me out. I think seeing you again shook her up a little, is all. She must have missed you during those days. I can imagine. I'm not sure if we can just pick up where we left off. Well, there's one way to find out. Listen, Meredith, time marches on. And eventually, you realize it's marching across your face. Life's too short. That's exactly why I decided this place could do with a repurpose after Stan passed. Fresh start. It's been Moe's Diner ever since. And believe it or not, business is better than ever. That's great to hear, Maureen. Congratulations. Why, thank you kindly. And listen, you check in with me and Kay again soon, you hear? Don't forget about what's important in life. 
hand on my heart, I will return as soon as I have a delivery. Or sooner. Huh? I'll hold you to that. You bet. Bye, Maureen. Hi there, Mr. Mackey. How's Mortimer? Oh, good day, Meredith. Mort's fine, as I expected. It was just a little indigestion. Good night's rest and a bit of lake trout in the morning has done the little critter a world of good. Excellent. Miss Jenkins will be pleased. Let me take him off your hands. All right. Bye, Mort. Anything else, Miss Weiss? Enjoying yourself so far? I only just started, so I'm not sure yet. Yeah, you got time to make up your mind. I'm guessing I'll see you around a lot more, Miss Weiss. For sure, Mr. Mackey. Have a nice day. Look who's back! Mortimer! Oh, look at you! You're good as new! Yeah, Mr. Mackey did say not to feed him cupcakes. Hmm, I suppose he's right. It's, it's just that he likes them so much. Don't you, Mortimer? Anyway, thank you so much, Meredith. My pleasure. See you, Miss Jenkins. Call me Mildred, dear. Say goodbye to Meredith Mortimer.
Hello? Hey, Meredith. Hey, Dad! How's life? I heard something about poker, fishing, and margaritas. <laughs> Talk to Mom, huh? But yeah, can't complain. How about you? Do you like my job? I'm starting to love it. Being on the road, the freedom, the people. That's great to hear. Frank's quite the character, huh? Frank's quite the character indeed. He said you helped him out once. Uh, more than once. Well, what can I say? He likes baseball a bit too much. He places a bet every now and then. Nothing too serious. And what about Bert Mackey? Bert? Uh, Bert doesn't like to talk much. But he's got a heart of gold. Stay on his good side. Speaking of staying on the good side, your mom's telling me to hurry up. We're going to a movie. Okay, Dad, don't keep her waiting. What movie? Uh, Stand By Me. About four Oregon boys in the 50s. Right up my alley. Sounds good. Say hi to Mom for me. Will do. Bye, Meredith. Here we go. Rise and shine, P.O. The time has come for a P.O. positive for that team. Today's contribution is from Mildred, the senior authority on pets and thieves. It's a positive this time, Jack. My cat Mortimer was feeling ill, but thanks to Bert Mackey and our new mailman, Meryl, he's in great condition again. That's fantastic news, Mildred. Now let's see if it will keep raining cats and dogs. I'm happy to say it will be dry later on with a bit of sunshine. Back to the playlist. That's lighter than I thought. Here's the mail, ma'am. One of those yellow parcels. Don't shoot the messenger. It's for that thing behind the door, a photography mini lab. They installed it last week and they want me to operate it. As if I don't have enough on my plate already. That's pretty nice, actually. I love photography. Some people think they can become professional photographers overnight. Yeah, that's a bit annoying. They want me to take pictures with the camera and film from this box so I can practice with the mini lab. On top of running the store? Ugh. I guess I'll just have to deal with it myself. Have a nice day, ma'am.
first the package. I didn't bring the package. Hi, Lori. Got some mail for you today. Oh, hi, Miss W. Uh, yeah, thanks. Something on your mind? Oh, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. Are you sure? You seem out of it. It's just... Angie came by with a movie box and a couple of movies to watch. The Love Bug and A Nightmare on Elm Street. Ugh, did she? I'm not surprised. And you're having trouble picking? Ugh, I don't. But if my parents catch me watching Elm Street, they'll brown me for a week. I wish they'd just take a chill pill and see that I'm basically an adult. I fix cars. Oh, no, that's too bad, Lori. Maybe you can watch it at a friend's house instead. No, I'm homeschooled. There aren't many teenagers here, as you may have noticed. So I don't really have any friends to watch it with. So it's a love bug for me. Tell you what, take the love bug now and we'll watch the horror movie at my place. Would Sunday work for you? What? Really? Yes, it would. That'd be wicked, Miss W. Of course. I'm always in for a good fright. So, see you Sunday? Totally. Thanks so much. Deal. Have a nice day. Interesting. These look like bills. Here's your mail.
Hi, Kay. Delivery for the diner. Hey, Meredith. Sure. Just uh, put it on the counter, would you? Kay, about the other day. What about it? <sighs> I really put my foot in it. Maybe it wasn't the best time for that conversation. We had to have it sometime. I suppose. So... I talked to Maureen. Let me guess. You got a piece of Maureen's wisdom too, eh? Why doesn't that surprise me? That explains why she wanted me to take over today's shift, then. She told me about Uncle Stan. I'm so sorry. Thanks. It was a long time ago, but I appreciate it. It's not the same without him. I'm sorry I wasn't there. For you and Maureen. That's kind of you to say, Meredith. I mean, I didn't contact you about it at the time, but then again, I had kind of given up by then. I guess everyone has their own things to deal with. Even me. I get it. There's always a reason for things to go the way they do. Thanks for understanding. Time marches on. What did Maureen always say about that again? One day you realize... It's, it's marching, marching across, across your across face! Your face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mo. Some things never change. You say that like it's a good thing. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Em. It was good. To talk, I mean. You know. Yeah, it was. I have to get back to it, but see you around, maybe? I'm sure. See ya. Just as bad as you, and sometimes worse, you see it. Where's the package? Hey, uh. Hello, sir. I reckon that's a parcel with my name on it. I reckon your name is Jack Reynolds? Indeed I am. And I reckon you're the new postal worker. I reckon you could say that. Well, thank you much. New around here, I reckon. People call me JR. I'm a farmer and DJ. I'm Meredith. Nice to meet you. DJ and farmer? That's a rare combo. Indeed it is. But it's a nice distraction from farming. I've seen better times. I had some spare time and a room in the shed, so I figured, why not? About your playlist. It's really nice. Thanks, but I really need to add more songs. But I'm in the middle of a potato harvest. Don't have much time. Hey, listen, postal worker Meredith, I need to get back to work. Can you do me a favor and give this envelope to Frank? Sure. No problem. Thank you so much.
Good day. My name is Walter Morgan. I'm from the Postal Service. I'm calling with regards to compliance to policies and guidelines, such as the use of Postal Service property, code of conduct, and so on. I will be in touch again soon. Meredith, it's Steve. What's up, Steve? Thanks so much for improving the text and sending it back to me. I'm confident this will improve our chances of securing a monster deal. You're welcome, Steve. A monster deal? It's a monster deal. The big retailer, big money, big prizes. A monster deal? That is so awesome. Big money, big prizes. Ooh, I need to calm down too. <laughs> well, yes, calmness is needed. Eyes on the prize. The next steps are me going to meet up with them this week. Discuss terms. Okay, Steve. Good luck. Thanks, Meredith. Speak soon. Hmm. Let's see what's on TV tonight. Previously on Bon Appetit. I have good news. Jean-Paul has agreed to become the chef of the downtown restaurant. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> Rock and roll. There is only one problem. Jean-Paul is not a cook, but a car technician. <laughs> Good morning, Meredith. There's an envelope today with an incomplete address on it. It only says Mickey and June, Lake Campground, Providence Oaks. Do you think you can find that? Yeah, I think I know where that is. All right. Have a great day. Thanks. Oh, by the way, Frank, I wanted to ask you something. I will not babysit Mildred's cats. <laughs> no, it's about something else. What's in those envelopes for you? Oh, that's just for stamps. Saves them the hassle of driving up here. Hey, I gotta get back to work. Catch you later. <laughs> 